Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at the Strun Wraith. This time I'm not using a Riven because I fucked up the video I did months ago. Um, yeah, when I did a load of the other videos, I, or when I first started making Warframe videos and build guides and stuff like that, I, t I titled them My Endgame Builds and nobody seemed to grasp the fact that when it says My Endgame Build, it's not implying that it's a build you can have. It's a build that I have, hence why it says my, and that used to annoy a lot of people. And it used to amuse me, because I couldn't make it any more obvious. But it still annoyed people, so, you know, you can't, we, we can't win them all. Uh, I have a whole separate video coming out about that, in my opinions, at the minute, because whilst uh, we're all staying at home, and uh, because I've been keeping up with Warframe more often, um, I feel like... Warframe has been a, a great step forward for me in terms of growth, channel, uh, interaction and subs and comments and all that stuff. My sub count has doubled. My view count has nearly fucking tripled. I'm getting more attention in the last two or three months than I've had the past six years of doing YouTube videos, which has been fucking mind-blowing. And, uh... Anyway, so I've got something separate coming out about that anyway, because I have some thoughts and some opinions about some things. Um, but anyways, the Strun Wraith. Uh, yeah. Um, I can I, actually, before we start, I'm going to clarify something else as well. When I, like, people come onto these videos and, you know, certain people will, they'll go, well, that's actually, yeah, I'm going to try that. And then they'll, you know, they'll put in a comment, nice build or something like that, or they'll give me a nice comment. Or certain people will join and say, like if I'm using a Riven, some, I mean, I know the Tigris video, or if it might have been the Ignis guy, the guy was like, yeah, average build, average Riven. Well, to be fair, you can't really make a better build on the Ignis than the ones I've got on the Ignis, but, you know, it was like, and then he, he went into detail about what he uses instead and his Rivens and stuff like that, and it was like, you know what? I like that. At first, he come off like a prick. But then he went into detail about stuff he uses and why he uses it and asked, or he said, give it a go. That's what I like to see. I like people coming in and saying, yeah, you know, cool build or whatever. I use this, 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 and this. Give it a go. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it, use it. That's what this is about. I'm not here to say this is set in stone, best build in the game. No, it's a build. If it kills his enemies quick, then it does the job. I don't care whether it's statistically the highest DPS per second that has the ability to one-shot every ad that exists. No, there is no weapon that will do that, no matter how hard you tell yourself. Unless it's the Ignis, to an extent. That's not the point. That's not the point of this at all. An endgame build means it works at endgame, or just a build. It's going to do the job. You set your expectations way too high and expect everything to be perfect. Anyways, I'm going to stop running. Because um, again, I could make a whole separate video on that. Uh, the Strun Wraith is a Mastery 10 shotgun. It's amazing. Uh, it was amazing before the changes. It was top three shotguns, 100%. <clears throat> is it still there now with all the changes? Um, I'm going to say top five. It's 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 at that level. I don't think it's top three anymore. Although I couldn't give you a top three, top my head. So I'm actually gonna not comment anymore. Um, the wiki doesn't tell me anything else. It's a um, what do you call them? An invasion mission weapon. So that's where most of the wraith weapons come from. Uh, you have to do the invasion missions. Um, normally you have to do like two or three exterminates or defenses or captures or something like that. And provided you pick, you got two sides. It's normally grenier and corpus. Say the Corpus have the Dera Vandal, whatever that, that is. One of those weapons. Snipetron Vandal. And then the Grenier will have, like, the Strun Wraith Receiver. If you pick Grenier and then mo more... I think it goes off how many people go on it. So say 70% people go for the Grenier, they'll get that weapon part. I'm not sure if you get the part for picking Corpus either. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Keep farming invasions or go in the trade chat. It's not going to be... Uh, um... What you call it? It's not hard to get. I don't think it's expensive either. But anyways, the build itself. Um, I used to be quite annoyed with how this weapon performed. Um, and now I've used it a bit more. What I'm finding out is that it's really fucking annoying when all these weapons have the ability to knock them all over the place. Just stand still, you fucking dick. Why do you have to wobble so much? It's so annoying. 
So now I have to stand there and wait for you to stop wobbling all over the place. It's so irritating. I actually hate this ability so much. Even if we just had the ability to lock enemies in place so that we could, you know, just test numbers and stuff like that. Um, so that's really the only downside I have to this weapon is this. The wobbling and dancing all over the place. It's so annoying. I actually hate it. As you can see, three to four shots on an enemy that doesn't want to stand still. It's not that bad. Now, you can reload this weapon one at a time. Uh, if you see, I can shoot all my bullets. And then I can reload one and shoot again. As you can see, I don't have to reload all ten. I can reload as many as I want. So, that's something that's quite cool just to add in. Um, yeah, ten shots in the mag and then however long it takes to re reset and all this kind of stuff. Oops. Yeah. Ash is still busted to fuck. That never changes. That never will. Never has. That's a good thing. When I say busted or he's overpowered and broken, that normally means he's good. Just because I say something's overpowered doesn't necessarily mean that it should be nerfed straight away. Like, if I say Ash is broken, he's broken because his job, he does very well at it. The same way I'd say Mirage is broken. Mirage is broken because of that massive damage buff. But she's squishy as fuck. So you have to add, the, you know, the pros with the cons. I'd say Rhino is broken as fuck, but he's a very, very awkward frame to play. And he's so energy hungry, you have to work around it. But he's broken. I'd say the Tigris is broken. It's so overpowered. But you've only got two shots. So, you know, you have to take the pros with the cons. You know. Everyone's opinion is different, obviously. What you think is broken might not be what I think is broken. I don't think... You know, I'm sure we can sit down here and tell each other what we think's broken and we can come to a, an agreement and you go, yeah, you know what, I actually agree with that. Uh, Rhino, but I, this has just come off dead, Rhino. I, 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 that's not how I intended it. I'm not in like one of those moods today. I'm just sick of seeing Warframe videos, to be honest, with everybody whining. <laughs> it's starting to annoy me. But I'm, I'm not miserable, honest. I'm actually in a good mood. Um, I do have a Riven in another build, not this build specifically. I purposefully left it out. Um, it's a completely different build with that Riven in it anyway. So I'm actually going to finish up with the primaries and then I'm going to start releasing... I think I've already said this anyway. I'm going to start releasing the videos about Rivens. Um, but I'll get into the topic about that anyway. Yeah, don't use Wisp with this. <laughs> As cool as it is, not very good. I don't know why it does this. The second Wisp seems to have this buff. The weapons that she uses just become dog shit. I don't know why. Normally it's three to four shots. You've seen the video, but this is now one, two, three. Yeah, you've got no chance you're dying from that. Five, six. Oh, I haven't got the thing. Give me that buff. That's fair. I mean, it does do the job, but you can be more efficient with your ammo and your everything if you just swerve this one with wisp I think in my opinion however if you're a mirage player I'd say definitely don't swerve it <laughs> definitely don't swerve it don't swerve anything with mirage one shot
Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I'll say no more. I don't need to do that. You guys have seen it. This weapon is super good. I feel like shotguns have, have always been insanely good anyway. And the Strand's one of those weapons. It's just really good. Uh, did I tell you guys at the start it's Mastery Rank 10? I can't remember if I did or not, but yeah, it's Mastery Rank 10. Um, yeah, so, three former, um, and that is three former. Uh, point blank's anything not maxed there, which I can do now. I just haven't. I don't know why that's not maxed. Uh, yeah. So that, that that's that's not bad. You know, Tigris is cheaper. Um, Hex cheaper. What's the other shotgun we've done? Corinth is way cheaper. That's zero former, the prime. Is there another shotgun we've done? Comb. Yeah, the comb's not cheap. What am I missing? I'm missing a shotgun. Oh well. Three former anyway. That's sort of meh. You know, that'll do. Uh, so we've got point blank. For damage, Vigilante Armaments, Hell's Chamber for multi-shot, Hunt Munitions for slash on crits, Blunderbuss for crit chance, Frigid Blast, Toxic Barrage for viral, and then I'm using Shotgun Savvy. Now, that status chance is pretty low anyway, um, but this weapon has 28 projectiles, so no it's not. That's what you think, that's what I thought at first. But yeah, and then you realise, oh yeah, shotguns go on a, a pellet. Um, what do you call it? Like a what do you call it? Like a bait. I don't know what the word is. You know what I'm trying to say. Goes off of pellets and not bullets. So that's not that bad considering you're shooting 28 pellets and not, you know, one shot. If you've got 37% chance on a one shot, you know, every three or four shots you might proc your statuses. But no, 28 pellets with 40% almost status chance. That's very fucking good. So that's why, I mean, I, my ribbon, as you can see down here, is a D. So that's why that's former to that. And I figured instead of formering it again to former it again to be a pain in the ass, I'll just make it work with that. So what I'd recommend if you don't, if you have that format as a D, you can, instead of using that, if you didn't want to put in cryo rounds and then put something else in if you wanted to. Um, I wouldn't, I would say this is your option slot. You chuck on whatever you want there, but I don't know how the weapon performs without that being there. Um, because I can't test anything else without formering again. And I'm not formering a weapon just to say that's good, you know. This isn't formed there for you guys, so by all means go and test it for yourself. I hate it when I get Rivens that are formed in uh, that polarity and they're not a dash or a V because I can test a lot more with that. Like I say, I'm not formering the same spot two times just to say something. It's, it's, it's not happening. Maybe I'm lazy. I, I don't care. It's not happening. So yeah, you know, that's a relatively cheap build. Nothing there is expensive. If you don't have the Prime mod, just use normal point blank. You'd lose a little bit of damage, but... You know, we can't have everything we want in life, unfortunately. So we've got 6.7 accuracy, 34.2% crit chance, with 2.2 times crit multiplier, fall off of 15 to 30 meters, fire rate of 2.50, magazine of 10, multi-shot of 28.0, Noise of alarming. Reload is five seconds. I'm gonna guess that's for every single shot. It doesn't take five seconds to load one. Fucking hellfire. Um, so if that goes off of that, I believe if my math is correct, that means it takes half a second to reload a shot. Is that right? I'm not sure, but it doesn't take five seconds to reload one shot. So I'm gonna guess that's for reloading all 10. However, I'm not sure. Riven Disposition is actually on this weapon. It's 5 out of 5, so your Rivens are going to have some pretty decent numbers on them. Um, so yeah, if you can get a Riven, go for it. I'm not sure how much Strun Rivens go for, but I can't imagine they're extortionate. I would hope not. 37.2% um, status per projectile. Trigger of semi, because it is a shotgun. We've got 61.2%. One impact, just get rid of impact, please. Impact, such a shit status effect. Doesn't do anything. It just makes it super irritating. 14.1 puncture, 18.8 slash, and 112.8 viral. So yeah, I think that's relatively cheap. It does the job. Um, I certainly think other shotguns do it a lot better. But you know, that's you can't win them all. And, uh, 
I don't know where I was going with that. I was going to say something, but then I looked down at my phone, and now oh, it's thrown me off. So, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys go. Um, hope you guys did enjoy that. Uh, <coughs> I don't have a coronavirus. Um, yeah, that, that's great. So I'll let you guys go. If you guys did enjoy that, leave a like down below. Dislike if you didn't, for whatever reason. Uh, that comment section is always open. You know, suggest things, recommend things, ask things. Tell me you've used something. Tell me to use something else instead. You know what I mean? I, I, I try and make workarounds with certain things, but like I said, with the whole form room weapons, I don't see the point in form room this weapon, because a build like this, I personally aren't going to use as much when I've got a Riven. You know what I mean? But these, these videos are helpful to some people. You know, I'm gaining a lot of attention and helping out players. You know, I see a lot of people saying, I'm using this, thank you so much. And that is one of the best things about doing this. So... You know, like I said, I don't see this, the point in forming a weapon a certain amount of times just to say something when I can say, well, you know, former it for a V and just, if it doesn't work, use something else. Uh, but anyways, and I've been, I've been very ranty in this video. I do apologize. That That's... I don't know. I was fine five minutes ago. Anyways, I'll let you guys go. Subscribe if you're new around here, trying to retire by the end of the year. I need to stop saying I'll let you guys go, because that seems to be more common than anything else now. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.